Hi there, welcome to my YouTube video. This is Tina from TinaHills.com and if you have an Aquarius Sun, then this is your video. So Aquarius Sun is not a very ideal position because the Sun is in detriment in Aquarius. Aquarius is a very interesting sign because some astrologers say that no planet is exalted in Aquarius. Some say Mercury is exalted in Aquarius. So it's a very um, sort of, you know, you cannot quite pinpoint it. You cannot posit meaning to it. So uh, Aquarius is the 11th sign of the zodiac. So the, the twin flame number 11. It is um, now sun, as I was saying, the sun rules Leo. And Aquarius is the polarity of Leo. So the sun is in detriment in Aquarius, okay? So uh, sun is the father. So oftentimes there could be problems with the father, very eccentric father, very irregular uh, kind of uh, father, you know, in some way with sun in Aquarius, especially with the Scorpio rising. Now, uh, let us try and understand the significations of the sun. Now, the sun is known as one of the lights, in the moon being the other uh, light, because, you know, they, the ancients thought that they had their own light. Now, the sun is basically the all-seeing sun, not just uh, the orb, the visible orb you see, but there is a spiritual sun, the, 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 the essence of this physical sun, from which all truth, all reality emanates, the spiritual sun. Okay, it is the organ of mental perception. It is, um, it indicates kingship, which is leadership, how we lead. Uh, it, um, intellect, like I told you that the sun deals very much with our intellect, not the mercurial data gathering that our mind, the monkey brain can engage in, but true primeval raw intelligence okay that is the sun true wisdom in a sense okay uh, intelligence beauty okay so having sun in aquarius is an eccentric uh, side to your beauty the way you dress maybe the way maybe piercings maybe tattoos eccentric for sure uh motion loftiness of fortune so sun in detriment in aquarius could mean that you have uh you know problems with uh abundance in a way not that all aquarians are going to face uh poverty or lack of abundance but aquarians they they need to manifest this this uh abundance a bit harder than others not they're trying to the ordinance of the gods, judgment, public reputation. So oftentimes the reputation can come from eccentric deeds because this is Aquarius, okay? Uh, action, authority, action, because Mars is action, I know. But Mars is more impulse-based uh, action for, for the 3D. But Sun is honestly the, the reason why we incarnate. The actions we, the soul actions we take. It's very in, uh, aligned with the soul, the heart chakra, remember. Authority over the masses, the father, the master, so the boss. Uh, friendship, noble personages, honors, you know, statues and what have you. Uh, in the organ, it rules the, the, face, the head, of course. And in the sense organs, the right eye, it also rules the nerves and the heart chakra. The heart chakra uh, is green in color. And you can just visualize, especially having a sun in fall. Aquarius, you always need to be connected to sun in detriment. You need to be connected to your heart chakra. Okay, it's uh, very important for you, right? And developing us uh, this connection with the sun can happen on a Sunday. Uh, you can watch my video on how to do solar worship so you get a good grasp of things. Now, uh, sun in detriment in the 11th sign. 
Aquarius is a fixed sign, so it has a lot of focus. It's air. It's a positive sign. It's masculine. It's ruled by Saturn in uh, traditional astrology, what I use. And also I look at Uranus because Uranus can give some nuanced meanings. Okay, so um, now the symbol is a water bearer. And the glyph is water, those two waves, but they're not really waters, as in what water we understand. But the sine and the cosine waves of existence, electrical water, or fohat, as uh, HPB calls it in the secret doctrine, fohat, F-O-H-A-T. That is uh, the sine and the cosine waves of Aquarius. Aquarius rules shins, ankles. Ah, uh, the circulation. So having your son there, you know, so you could have problems with your circulation. You can have ankle injuries, shin injuries. So, you know, um, training would really help because Aquarius is a lot of energy, that fixed focal energy that Saturn brings to the table. In, in uh, Capricorn, he's still cardinal. In Aquarius, he brings that crazy fixed focus okay uh it's hot because you know air is hot it's moist it's rational and sanguine and humane now there are uh, some signs are humane like uh, you know a bit of Sagittarius Gemini uh, Aquarius these are humane signs they're very uh humanistic right they they understand the human condition they're here to understand the human condition whether they do or they don't is a matter of karma, but they're here to understand the human condition. Uh, what I have seen is native is robust, okay? A tall, long face, but not horse-like face like the Sagittarius, longish face, very pleasing, very delicate countenance, a clear, bright complexion, okay, flaxen hair, fair, honest open-minded that's the best uh, thing about aquarius fair and very open-minded not judgmental very eclectic uh, very quirky okay uh, take care of things like lameness okay swelling gout cramps all of this can happen because sun is in fall and then sun is in detriment and then sun has all these hard aspects. The sun on uh, Saturn comes on your sun or sun, the Mars comes on your sun. These things can happen, right? So now uh, when we look at uh, Aquarius sun, uh, we often see that there's a rigidity about them. Yes, they're fair. Yes, they're open. Yes, they're very, very eccentric but they do also have a rigidity i think the fixed uh, modality brings in that rigidity as well as saturn okay yes aquarius breaks the rule but if aquarius sets a rule he expects you to follow he or she expects you to follow some of the greatest war uh minds war generals and you know uh, these kind of people have been Aquarius because they have this very cold and detached side to them where they can be the person outside like the the experiment so to speak and they can you know stand outside and take notes so even if you are going through some gruesome situation they're not going to intervene they will take notes they will judge they will study uh, from the outside so oftentimes they are looked as dismissive aloof detached cold but the Aquarius wants to uh, find answers in a sense Aquarius in Virgo uh, Aquarius is also looking to optimize there is a crazy connection with Aquarius in Virgo I'll make a video on it but you know Virgo being neutral earth really tries and brings that earth component with air you know knowing air scatters but this is still fixed air so still this is holding court holding everything together you know uh aquarius sun you're definitely here to illuminate humanity with waters of reason because you understand logic 
you understand reason you understand other people's points of views you are open to that you're not close to understanding other people's points of views okay oftentimes sun in aquarius family life is complicated oftentimes you're thought of as you know uh, the black sheep of the family because uh, you've in a sense disappointed your traditional parents if you have very traditional family if you have a very traditional family structure then in a sense you uh, may have uh, disappointed them and you may be labeled as a black sheep but that doesn't uh, get you flustered because you have this tremendous uh, control shall i say control no this tremendous understanding of of the wild the beyond because you know aquarius deals with deep space so if sun in aquarius could be an astronaut could be someone who studies deep space astrology because aquarius rules astrology so sun in aquarius could very well have you studying astrology or at least getting an astrological reading done you know developing a closer relationship with not just uh the sun but also saturn who is the dispositor of your sun your solar logos so all these significations are ultimately dependent upon saturn for fulfillment so the placement of saturn is really important to understand how your life will play out so a kind of book reading for more clarity like subscribe comment and um check out my website check out my merchandise and check out my writing and uh, find me on social media aquarius the future is yours we're entering the age of aquarius so embrace the beautiful boundless possibilities thank you